This tutorial will show you how to copy and paste data from Origin to Excel, how to copy in full precision, and how to copy with display format. First, I'm going to format the numbers displayed in the Origin worksheet. Double click on column A to bring up the column properties dialog box. In properties, change the digits drop down to set decimal places. Check apply to all columns to the right checkbox and click OK. Click and select all columns and right click and select copy. Now go to Excel and right click on a cell and select paste. As you see, the data that is pasted is what was displayed in Origin. Now go back to Origin and right click and select Copy Full Precision. Now go to Excel. Right click in first column, row 4, and paste. The pasted data is full precision and not just the digits that were displayed in Origin. I have started from row 4 because I will next copy and paste the labels from Origin into the first three rows as column headings. Go back to Origin and click and select Long Name, Units, and Comments Rows. I am now doing Control c to copy the label rows only. Go back to Excel and then click three rows above the existing data. Now right click and select Paste. This will show you that you can copy and paste only labels if you want to. Next, I will show you that you can also copy and paste the origin data including these column headings with the Copy Including Label Rows command. Go back to Origin and right click and select Copy Including Label Rows. Now go to Excel. Right click in a cell and paste. You will see that the header lines are now copied as well and the data copied is what was displayed in origin not in full precision. In order to get data in full precision and also to copy the headings, you would have to do it in two steps as shown earlier. Also notice that there are extra rows between the label and the data, which is coming from the Sparklines row in the Origin worksheet. Let me show you how to fix it from the Origin side. Go back to Origin, right click on Book Title, go to View, and turn off Sparklines. Now select all columns and right click and select copy including label rows. Go to Excel and in sheet 3 next to where the old data was pasted, paste this new copy showing how there are no extra lines now between label and data. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.